and uh, I thought this time it might be interesting. Uh, to kind of start out, how many have any experience at all with OLEDs? That's what I probably would have expected. Um, OLEDs, to start out, are probably about seven years behind where LEDs are right now. There's, there, the, there are two kind of dueling branches in the uh, solid state lighting world. One is LEDs, and they've been around for a very long while. OLEDs were developed probably about 1987, I think, is when they first came out. Um, with the Department of Energy, and we'll be talking about that a little bit later, they kind of have been funding both. Uh, LEDs have been making rapid progress, as you're well aware. OLEDs are kind of that other technology that are kind of hanging out there that's moving along. Uh, but what I wanted to do today was kind of talk about that a little bit, give you an idea of what it's all about, and uh, whether or not you might be able to use it, where you might use it, or where it might you know, make or not make sense. So anyhow, uh, legal stuff, this, the learning objectives. I want to, again, just like I've done with LEDs, I want to talk a little bit about the physics of how OLEDs work. What is, you know, what, does an OLED, what is an OLED? What does it do? How does it work? How is it different from LEDs? And we'll go into that. Want to do a little bit about the performance comparison, you know, how do OLEDs compare in terms of LEDs, what's their efficacy, what's their efficiency, what's their brightness, the, the, the characteristics of an OLED as compared to the characteristics of an LED. Um, I want to talk about OLEDs have unique properties as compared to LEDs. Uh, there are some advantages for LED, there are many advantages for LEDs, but there are some characteristics of OLEDs that you can't get with an LED. And I want to talk about that, give you an idea of you know, where, they're, where you might expect them to show up and where they would not. And then there's this whole thing of the aesthetics. Because when you hear people talk about OLEDs, the aesthetics becomes a critical item. You can do things with OLEDs that you can't do with LEDs. Uh, as one example, if my uh, systems are working here, this is an OLED, and you can't do that with an LED, but you can with an OLED. So if you're an architect and you want to take this and you want to wrap the light around a building or around a column, you can do that. The other thing you can see is it's, ex I don't pull it off the uh, table here, it's extremely thin. 